Welcome to the lesson on Adult Cardiac Arrest Algorithm. In this video, we'll review the Adult Cardiac Arrest Algorithm. For CPR quality, ensure the following. Push hard, that is, more than or equal to 2 inches, and fast, that is, more than 100 beats per minute, and allow chest recoil. Minimize interruptions. Do not overventilate. If there is no advanced airway, use 30 to 2 compression to ventilation ratio. Quantitative waveform capnography. If ETCO2 is less than 10 millimeters of mercury, attempt to improve CPR quality. Intraarterial pressure. If diastolic pressure is less than 20 millimeters of mercury, attempt to improve CPR quality. For shock energy, ensure the following. Biphasic delivery of energy during defibrillation has been shown to be more effective than older monophasic waveforms. Follow manufacturer recommendation, for example, initial dose of 120 to 200 joules, if unknown, use maximum available. Second and subsequent doses should be equivalent, and higher doses should be considered. Monophasic should be 360 joules. For return of spontaneous circulation, note the following. Return of pulse and blood pressure. Sudden sustained increase in PETCO2, typically more than or equal to 40 millimeters of mercury. Spontaneous arterial pressure waves with intraarterial monitoring. For advanced airway, note the following. Supraglottic advanced airway or ET intubation. Waveform capnography to confirm and monitor ET tube placement. Eight to 10 breaths per minute with continuous chest compressions. For drug therapy, ensure the following. Administer epinephrine dose intravenously or intravenously at one milligram every three to five minutes. Administer amiodarone dose intravenously or intravenously. First dose is 300 milligram bolus. Second dose is 150 milligram. Keep the following reversible causes in mind. Hypovolemia, hypoxia, H plus or acidosis, hypothermia, hypo and hyperkalemia, cardiac tamponade, toxins, tension pneumothorax, and pulmonary or coronary thrombosis. For a full adult cardiac arrest algorithm, refer to figure 29 in your corresponding ACLS manual. This concludes our lesson on adult cardiac arrest algorithm. Next, we'll review post-cardiac arrest care.